Yes, sir. Welcome back to NHL 21. Be a pro on the PS4. It is your boy, G20. And thank you for joining me, man. Thank you for joining me on yet another episode. We are going to get through the 30-game mark of our very first NHL season in this video. So it should be fun, man. And as always, you guys have been killing it with the support on the series. The likes and the subscribers have been unreal. I said thank you for 8K last video or yesterday. Something I recorded yesterday had thank you for 8K in it, and we are at 8.5. It is ridiculous. The road to 10K is real, and I could not be more appreciative of it. You just... You just trust, okay? Just trust that I am so fucking thankful. It is unbelievable. But, as always, if you're new here and you want to see somebody go through a full career, okay? Listen, we are about a week, not even a week. All all versions of the game are not even out yet, and we are about 30 games into our first season, okay? If that doesn't tell you what you need to know about how dedicated I am going to be to this Be A Pro series... I don't know what will, all right? So stick around if you want to see a full career mode, man. Hit your boy with a subscribe. But now, we play. We played some games, man. Let's simulate two periods. It went okay. We had some scoring. We're on the first line. We had a little, a lot of scoring, actually. Maybe a little bit too much. We'll have to, we'll have to worry about maybe turning it up to Superstar here shortly because it was getting good. And I don't want to be, I don't want to have an easy time playing this. I want to have a realistic time. Right now, we're still on All-Star, but we had a very good game. Uh, video as far as production goes last time out so we want to make sure that it doesn't become too unrealistic okay we're just barely over a point per game if it keeps going we're going to superstar definitely but for now we're going to keep it because you're going to have good games right good games and hot streaks are going to happen i just want to make sure that it's not you know the entire season isn't a hot streak you feel me so let's drop the puck man dropping the puck on the third period the habs Okay, the Habs are going to lose the faceoff, and we have a 3-2 to two lead. So there you go. My goodness, we have the putt at the point. Going to skate it away from that check. I got it back, and I could not finish that. No freaking way. That was so close. Come on. It's been a pretty good start for the Rangers so far this season, though. We are winning lots of hockey games, which is always good to see. Yeah, that's that's what we want to do, right? That's why we play. You play to win the game as we get a huge chance in our stop. No freaking way. The rebound chance is off the post. Oh, we just can't put it home. We can't bury it. The entire second line, or first line, can't bury it. I'm so used to being on the second line. I just called this the second line. Imagine if Mika Zibanejad and Artemi Panarin were on the second line. No, sir. No, so you don't. Okay, big say. I'm getting booed in Montreal. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. They know I don't like the Habs. Oh, let's go. Far side. Finish that. Yes, sir. Bob. Our Timmy Panarin with the first goal. Suppress the opposition from the coach. That is the task that we were given. So, you know what? Let's go out and let's finish it. So now we have a two-goal lead. And that was some pretty brutal defense by the Habs. I'm not going to lie. They kind of stepped up on me at the blue line. And I thought they might step up. So I decided to just moved to the side a little bit and I completely sidestepped their defenseman which ended up being a huge play let's go we're gonna move that up the ice for our I think that was Panarin again but that's uh I'm just gonna change oh by the way since the support has been so unbelievably good in NHL 21 I figured let's upgrade the set a little bit so we upgraded in the audio department because that is the most important thing to me is the audio so we have a brand new microphone which should make me sound a little bit warmer a little bit more present than in previous videos and also oh well there you go the halves are going to score also we should remove a little bit more of the background noise than my previous microphone did so let me know how it sounds we set it up last night we spent a little bit of time on it messing with the settings and all that stuff i still have a few things to figure out about it but I like how it sounds as of now. I mean, it sounded pretty good last night. We were working on it for a little bit. Oh, hold on. We have some room. We're going to pass that off, and he's going to be stopped. I should have drove the net on that one. I definitely should have drove the net. But what I was saying is it sounded pretty good last night while we were setting it up. Obviously, now it's a new, it's a different environment because we're in a recording setup, and we are in a recording, you know, sort of ambience. So it's going to sound a little bit different. Hopefully, I go to editing and it doesn't sound like complete garbage. So, let me know in the comment section what you think of the new sound that we're bringing forth with this setup as we get a huge one-timer play. This first line is lit, man. I'm going to cross that. It's not going to work. Can we get it back down low? Yeah, we can. And then we're going to drop it again. Look at this. Look at this freaking cycle. Give me this. Shoot that. I can't score. I can't freaking score it. We have huge pressure, though. I mean, we are taking on the Habs, but this first line is so good, man. Holy moly. This is the type of this is the type of shift that I'm like, yeah, we might it might be time to move to superstar here already. Even even though we're kinda low still, 
as far as overall rating goes, and I'm just going to get railed by higher overall players like superstars and stuff like that. But I, if if all the shifts are going to look like that, I'm definitely moving to superstar nice and quickly because we can't. Because realistic gameplay and realistic, you know, stats and stuff like that is what I try to accomplish with my Be a Pro series. I'm not a big fan of scoring 10 points a game in Be a Pro as a rookie. You know, that's just not me. I just rather play it in a, oh my goodness, in a realistic fashion. And this is partly why I'm a little hesitant to move up to superstar because once you move up to superstar, your goaltender's save percentage takes a massive hit. Oh my goodness, that's just bad strategy by the Habs. Toe drag and I'm stopped on a breakaway. I should really start just deking a little bit more than that. I've worked on one-on-one -on -one moves with the goaltenders, and it looks like if you make more than one move, right, if you start stick handling left, right, left, right, and you make a lot of moves, the goaltenders can't really keep up with it as we try to go to the outside and get absolutely stoned by that defenseman. He just, he was not having it at all. But with 17 seconds left on the clock, we should take home huge job spot for the New York Rangers over the Habs and 5-2 is going to be the final score we are 1-0 on the video let's freaking get it man we are storming towards the playoffs these Rangers are out here all they needed was one more star player and it looks like we just might be that guy you and a friend could be there all right back to the phones we go we check in with Rebecca or how about Becky you okay with that yeah I love it thanks T-Ball thanks for having me on my pleasure what's up I think this is just one of those games where I'm starting to realize all the potential that the Rook has. I mean, I was just so impressed with what he can do when he's skating with the puck. I thought he was just a good skater, but especially when he's with the puck, he's got his head up, he's always looking for his teammates, setting up great plays, he's hustling, he's just one of these young kids that are kind of changing the game with the speed and the skill. and. It's just a good sign of things to come. You know what? The young ones are taking over, right? I mean, we've been hearing this for a while, but the game's never been better when you look at the skill, and here is another young impact player who steps right in. Look at the point pr production out there. I mean, and this is not the first time we've seen this. He's been doing it all season long and shows no signs of slowing down. All right, speaking of slowing down, we got to take a quick breather. So our next game, this one at the Garden, but once again against a Canadian team as we are up 3-0 on the Winnipeg Jets. And we go in with a dump and chase play right off the bat, see if we can get a cycle going down low. There you go. There's a little bit of a puck battle going on, but we get the puck back. We try to cross it. That was a bad pass. That was just a terrible play. I just... <laughs> I need not to do that. So we're going to have to wait and see because as much as I want to play it realistically and not cheese the computer and get points, at some point, your character is so good that you have to crank it to superstar or else all you need to do is make decent hockey decisions and you're going to score a bunch of points. So hopefully we can find that balance. But if not, there's always the difficulty adjustment slider which is going to make it more difficult without turning it to superstar we'll find that balance but right now in this game against the Jets it doesn't look like we're overpowered at all because sometimes sometimes the reason why our line goes off is because of the strategies that the other team is running you know sometimes that just happens and to open up some room for us as we oh spin off and I can't keep the puck because I don't have the ratings yet this is why I spent some skill points into my hands because I'm trying to get some hands up there maybe one day we can pull the Michigan off so far it's a little bit difficult to pull it off oh yo he tried to go off the boards to me is that what he just tried I think that's what he tried that's it that's oh my god what a save he is stopping pucks you love to see that you love to see that kind of performance from your backup goalie you know Georgie is definitely not a backup level goalie but he is our backup because Shesterkin is so good so it's nice to see that our backup is out here despite a limited opportunity he's still getting it done Panarin is going down low yeah that's we got absolutely shut down this is what I was talking about sometimes like the strategies that the Habs were running made it so easy for a speedy line like mine and then you face a team like the Jets that runs a completely different strat set and then it, it's not nearly as easy to get it done so it's really a balance that we're gonna have to find because sometimes you're gonna have good games and sometimes you're gonna have games like this one where uh, realistically all we we didn't do anything the only reason we're up is because the simulation gave us a three nothing oh my goodness lead as we almost give one back right there that was a good looking chance but it's still three zip and there are eight minutes left in the game 
So now it's pretty much turning into shutdown mode. If we can do that, find a way to do that, we're going to be golden. Panarin's going to get tripped, and that's going to help the cause as we go on the power play. We should have second line time or second unit time. Yes, we do. PP2, let's get over the boards, make something happen. I don't know. Am I left or right? I'm right wing on the power play. Damn it. I want to have that left wing on the power play, man. I want to be that Ovechkin bomb slot, but oof, that's bad. I want that left side bomb slot. I'm trying to get open. They won't give it to me. Oh, what a save. Are you fucking nuts? Wow. That, I can't believe he stopped that. That's absolutely wild. That's the case of the second power play unit actually doing enough to score, but just not getting it. Oh, I almost spun off this man. Almost. If I have a little bit more agility, this uh, that's a wrap. I am spinning off this man clean, but that's coulda, woulda, shoulda stuff, man. Maybe we'll find out what happens once we get a higher overall rating. As of now, though, it's not too good. And here we go. Can we make that pass? We're not even going to look for it as we drive to the net and get the puck on that's gonna be yeah we're just gonna come back just you know to prevent them from getting in transition our tempipreneur he's gonna pass it to my boy down low yes sir no i'm not gonna pass that i'm sorry i was going to but oh that's a chance that i could not pass up and unfortunately my sniper build cannot hit the net on that one i'm gonna get this puck back and dump it in because we are in it in the lead in a late opportunity with a backhander and it's gonna be stopped again holy moly we're getting goalie by right now let's just play for our goaltender and make sure that he gets this done man minute 53 don't let anything happen to him nothing does he gets the shutout huge jobs bud for the new york rangers yes sir another one we are two and oh on the video but again we didn't really do anything we really didn't do anything as a first line all we did was calmly put the game to bed game. honestly That's what i really like is the depth they can come at you in waves they come at you waves defensively they come at you waves offensively and here's the telling sign when one of the best freshmen in the league is a non-factor in a game like this and you still win that speaks volumes about your depth i mean the rookie doesn't pick up a point generated nothing offensively but this team still finds a ways to win. What on God's green earth is Sabolski talking about? Generated nothing? Are you serious? Did you not see the game? We had a freaking... We generated a huge amount. Well, not a huge amount, but we generated some quality chances. We just didn't bury it. We got goalie, Ben. Sabolski's just... I don't know, man. He's on... He on drugs. I don't know what's going on with him, but we're going to go to the net here, and we can't get this shit down. Oh, by the way, this next game against the Panthers, we're down one nothing. so now we have to generate offense and not only generate it, but finish it as well as we get coned defensively here. Here come the Panthers. No, sir. Not at the point. That was an absolutely so lame shot block attempt. Oh, I almost freaking hip checked him. I actually got a piece of him. That might have been a little bit of a clip. I'm not gonna lie. Oh lord. Oh lord, that's no good. Oh, here they come. Oh my goodness, nice play. They're gonna score. And yeah, we kinda That was bad defense. That was pretty bad defense. Here they come back. They are getting cone down there. This is not good. Ooh, he plays it. Interesting, but here we go on the counter. I mean, fuck it. We'll try. We'll send it to Mika. Mika back to me. I'm going to try to speed it back to him. It does work, but we couldn't get the puck past the goaltender, unfortunately. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Deacon right through the middle like that. Not going to let that work. We get a second shift because they took another penalty, so that's that's a huge chance. Oh, they almost took another one. Imagine. Imagine if they just keep a parade to the penalty box going. Doesn't work. Okay. Ozone face off on the power play. We're on the right wing, so it's not ideal, but... I mean, it is what it is. That's going to be... Mm, stop throwing it into the bench, man. Is that their strat? For real? Yes, thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Boom. Up to the middle. He has a chance, and he gets poked away from behind. The Panthers are having a really fun time playing defense against us, man. We cannot do much. Here comes Chris Kreider. He drops it to me. I'm going to drive that on net and couldn't quite get it on, though. Okay. At least we got a shot eventually, but... I gotta start hitting the net, man, with this character. It's, I mean, it's a sniper build, and my accuracy attributes are not that bad. Like, I promise they're not bad. Give me, give me this. Give me this puck. Thank you, I appreciate it. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're gonna make that pass across, and he shoots and scores. Mika's advantage, yeah, it gets us on the board. We might have a little bit of life here late in this third period. How much time do we got left? We got, I gotta look around my microphone, my new microphone. We got about five minutes left. Okay. 
So it's going to be interesting to see if we can do it. Yeah, they don't. They really don't give you enough room for anything off those face-offs anymore. We're going to see here. This is going to be interesting. Obviously, they're going to get a little bit of worry because we scored that, and there's plenty of time left. I mean, five minutes is plenty. Okay, we're going to go around the boards because he's open on the left side. Yes, sirree. We're going to go to the net, though. Can we see? Can we create anything? Mika, I think that is. Go down low to Panarin. Oh, man. that's That was awful. Alexander Ovechkin is out here on the Panthers. Give me give me that screen. Give me them screen points, boy. Yes, sir. Panarin gets the, the puck back off of that block. I'm going to get it. Boom, at the point because he has a better, ooh, a better shooting angle, and he does not use it at all. But I am on this back check getting the puck back, geeking away. Can I snipe it? Oh, my God. I can't hit the net. All right. Three minutes left. No minutes left. We lose game three of the video. Go two and one. I mean, it is what it is. Oh, they updated the Panthers goal horn. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. But the end of the winning streak, as James Jabalski was trying to say, the coach is happy with how I handle his assignment, which is fun. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and judging by the post-game comments by the coach, I mean, he certainly wasn't pleased. But why not? I mean, you look at the expectations that you now set for the club as a whole. Uh, to the phones we go. Let's check in with Brendan in Burlington. Welcome. What's on your mind? Hey, James. Uh, this is a blip. Just a blip. I'm not even worried about this. Not at all. Like, our rookie still looks great. Had an assist tonight. He's still out there making a positive impact, and they just didn't come up with the win, and that's fine. I think, you know, rookie's been good. Team's been good. This is a blip. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you on this one. This, this team has been really good. The rookie's been really good, and... So despite losing that game, we are still, these are the NHL standings, the overall NHL standings. And look at us. Look at us. We are there. We're not a top three team, but hey, we're right there. It looks like the Florida Panthers are going to be a problem once again in this. They were a problem in NHL 20, and it looks like they are back for more in NHL 21. So this might become a little bit of a legacy thing here with my channel where the Panthers just just keep being my rivals but Mika Zibanejad leads the New York Rangers in points followed very closely by our Artemi Parner and then ya boy is right there not too far we're tied with our Artemi Parner but since he has more goals he obviously gets the uh the up on that one that's pretty darn good let's look quickly around the league see what's going on I'm actually gonna look and sort by points this time see there you go boom we got points going on and alexander ovechkin i don't know how in the hell he ended up there five million dollars what he signed a one-year deal worth five million dollars according to this game so it must simulate one year oh does it did it do that Me okay it, I think what happened here is it sim it took a year off of everyone's contracts because of technically since you start in Europe the season starts back and so it moves forward one year so that's really weird I'm not a fan of that at all it took some so I guess Ovechkin was a free agent and then he signed with the Florida Panthers one year five million why do you give a 93 over Alex Alexander, what are you doing, bud? You can get so much more than $5 million? Like, what is that? What is that? Okay, well, furthermore, Nathan McKinnon is there. Johnny Gaudreau right there actually having a little bit of a resurgence, so that's good for him. Mika, as we said, with Panarin and ya boy. And then we have Huberto because, of course, the Panthers are absolutely lit. Rantanen, ooh, look at EK. Look at EK go. Even his plus minus is pretty good. That's not bad at all. Patterson's doing well. Kaner's doing Kaner things. Philip Hedel, we can't kind of carried him up there, but it's fine. Kucherov, where's McDavid is what I really need to know. Like, why does it keep... What What's going on here? What's going on? Oh, this is good. This is good to see. Nikita Gusev is developing a little bit. Where? No, seriously, where the fuck is Connor McDavid? Okay, so McDavid is leading the Edmonton Oilers with 20. Okay. All right. He's not a point per game, but I mean, he's close enough, I suppose. Drysidle's right there with him. They got Kyle Palmieri. I wouldn't even be mad at that. Honestly, and as, as an Oilers fan, would not be mad at all. But let's see about the rookie race. Obviously, we're going to be leading that thing, but I want to see who's right there behind me. We're going to go to rookie skaters. Yeah, boy, is 11 points ahead of Alexi Lafreniere, who has 22 points in 31 games. That's still a very, very good. What did they make him? They made him an 82 medium elite playmaker. 
Interesting. Lafreniere is so well-rounded that you could make an argument for playmaker, sniper, or power forward. That is the type of talent that Alexi Lafreniere is. So that's awesome. They made him a playmaker, though, so he's going to be very productive, get a few more apples than he does goals. But he is right there behind me. Mort Sider, a little bit older than us, but he's there. We got Holtz, Evans, uh, Foodie, Raymond, any anybody else that's really, really worth of uh, noting here? Okay, I thought I thought I read Matt Marie on that one, but that was not Antonio's changes. He made this show. He's a sixty. Whoa, that's interesting. That's very interesting. He has seven points in thirty games. Alex Formanton also has seven points in thirty games. Other than that, it looks like uh, yeah, there's nobody else really of note that much. What is his name? Fix Wolanski. Fix Wolanski. I don't, I don't know who that is, but that is a dope name. Um, yeah, we're pretty much done here with these. All right, so that is the stats video. We needed that little bit of an update, and you know what? Since we are 29 games in, we're going to go ahead and we're going to simulate one game in this, and then it's going to bring us across the 30-game mark. Like I said earlier in the video, we were going to get by the 30-game mark, and hold on, we have a little bit of a challenge, it seems. Actually, it's not a challenge. Vitaly wants to go to the botanical... Oh, are you serious? Vitaly, I don't... I, I, I would not go... Okay, so my options are... Okay, not going to say no. And then we have... <laughs> that's funny. Staring at plants and animals doesn't excite me. That's... I mean, that's kind of me right there. I'm not going to lie. And Florida is humid enough. I don't want to... Yep. You know what? Those two answers are pretty much me. So... I'm just going to go Florida is humid enough. I ain't trying to go there. I'm sorry, bud. I'm sorry. That's just that's just me acting more realistic because that is something I would do. I'm not going to no botanical garden at the, in, in freaking Florida. Are you kidding me? Hell no. I'm a winter person. Okay? That's what I do. All right. So that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it as we sim past game number 30. We are almost halfway through the season already. And thank you so much for coming along so far. I hope you join me for the rest of the series, man. We're working on our slap shot a little bit. But once again, like I said, if you want to have a full career mode series, hook your boy up with a subscribe, man. I am ever so thankful Let's for the growth that we... The James! I am thanking the people, the James. Ice. Okay, so we let James do his thing with the little scores around the league segment that he has going on. But... I forgot what I was just saying. Oh, yeah, I was saying, if you want to have a full Be A Broker Real Mode experience, then hook your boy up with a subscribe. Other than that, though, it is your boy. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hook your boy up and push the like button to the face, spend a hell out of a comment, and subscribe. I'm G20, man. As always, I love you guys, and I'm out this bitch. Peace.